I'm out here with the most beautiful person in the world, my favorite person in the world. Do something, I'll snatch your soul out. Anyway, I love it. What are we doing today, planner? We are first going to Bunk Arts number two, and then we're gonna go to Albanian National Museum. I'm thinking we can go to Pazar, which is like a famous market in the center, and then maybe we can grab something to eat. I don't know, we'll see about that. Inshallah. So we were walking to the museums. This was the plan, but God had other plans. So he just wanted to soak us. Man, that ain't right. We're gonna be trapped here. Mediterranean weather, it's not nice. Okay. Made it to this cafe. Hopefully trying to beat the rain. Let's see what happens. You okay? Back out on the road, rain died down again. Took about 20 minutes, but we're gonna make it to the museum. We're gonna make it, baby. Yeah, ain't that right, boo? Right, yeah. Had to drop by Letty and get another pastry. You know I had to do it. It's too delicious. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready to go to the bunk art. Yeah, we outside in the middle of the street. <laughs> Made it to the bunk art. About to see what's in the bunkers. Here in Tirana, Albania, they have two bunkers that they converted into museums. These bunkers were created during the communist regime of the 20th century in Albania as a way to make sure the military and political elite would be able to dominate and rule the country in the case of invasion or nuclear war. It's very interesting. I released a video yesterday reacting to it as a leftist because of the anti-communist messaging. So go check that out, please. Everyone calls me a spy, or better say a fake, which is even worse, but in fact, I am an ordinary citizen. You download this app called Bunkart, and for both of them, actually, but we didn't download it for the first one, so we're gonna download it for the second one. Okay, so we're gonna download this app called Bunkart, and for both of them, actually, but we didn't download it for the first one. You just put lens to the picture where it says mentioned reality experience, and they start talking and explaining who they are. And they talk like real people and their mouths are moving on. <laughs> so it's like a AR experience. It's interesting, but it didn't work on one of the pictures or maybe I couldn't get it to work. This is by far one of the most interesting rooms I've been in in this bunker museum. So when foreigners used to come to Albania during the communist era, they would have to go to the border and then get their hair cut if they didn't fit the socialist aesthetic, such as this handsome man right here. He has a nice beard cut. And what they have here in this room is a barber chair with hair behind it. That's hilarious. But I ain't got to worry about that, though. <laughs> This room that I'm here in now is also one of the most interesting rooms. It's a, an example of what it felt like to be in an interrogation room. The lights are flickering. Uh, there's a typewriter. You hear this thumping sound like your heart. It's a very, very intense feeling. And I, you know, it really brings home as to what it felt like to be interrogated by a fascist dictatorial regime and your life is hanging in the balance. This art piece behind me is titled the Monster of the Dictatorship, it's by Rajmanda Zajmi Avignon. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. It was inspired by this quote that he saw when he was a kid, and it said, we build socialism by holding the pickaxe in one hand and the rifle in the other. And he, as a kid, thought it was amazing that he could read uh, because you know, when he was a kid and those were the first words he ever got to read. And then as he got older, he realized it was propaganda. And he realized he still didn't understand the propaganda even as he got older. And he still doesn't to this day. And he rejects propaganda altogether. And he realized that this propaganda was used by this monster, this machine, this society around him that forced him to believe this idea and that didn't make any sense to him. And that this monster consumed others, lied to others, deceived others, hurt others. The monster had no heart, no soul, no brain, truly. It was caged up. It wasn't allowed to truly express itself or allow for free expression around it. The monster consumed and then spat out information that only allowed the monster to continue to grow. And even though this is anti-communist propaganda, I would say, I would say this applies also to capitalism as well. We're fed the propaganda. Work hard and you're guaranteed success. Make sure you do everything right by the book and you're guaranteed to be successful. It's the same thing. Ideologies can become monstrous. They can consume us. They can lie to us. They can deceive us. They can spit back out information to reproduce themselves. They can harm others and hurt others. It wasn't just the communist regimes that locked up people and killed people unfairly. I'm from the United States of America. That's what we do for breakfast. That's what we do before we go to sleep every day. 
United States of America has done more harm and hurt on this planet than any other place in the world. And it's a monster in and of itself that produces its own ideology and spits back out that same propaganda across the world. So I find this art piece very, very impactful. Great job, Rajmonda. Great job, Bunker Art One. I really, really love this piece. If you're here in Toronto, Albania, come to this exhibit. Come see this thing for yourself. It's kind of scary when you walk in the room. People don't want to come in because they're terrified of it. But hey, I have no fear anywhere. So let's go. Just left the Bunker Art Museum. Now we're on our way to the National Museum, all the way over there. Hopefully it's nice. Hopefully it's free. <laughs> Running out of money. Who knew Albania could be so expensive? Came across some wild Americans teaching people how to play baseball. So I'm gonna try to go up to bat and knock something out. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. I hope it goes well. Big Daddy got that baseball bat. Yeah. <laughs> Find your team back home. Oh, no. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Louisiana. Oh, okay. I'm David. Nice to meet you, David. We'll find you all out here in uh, Triana, Albania. I'm just a traveler.